Have you ever heard the saying, looks good from far, but far from good? Well, that's what we're dealing with here. We've got our reproduction tub, I guess you could say on the frame or on the Jeep. And uh, only thing that's original from a body perspective is our grill. You can see here that it was originally picket gray and then someone went over there from a Home Depot or whatever with the paintbrush and made it red. And we have our lovely black primer here from uh, wherever they make these things. So one tip right off the bat when you're lowering the body tub itself onto the Jeep is, uh, you know, use your brain. Uh, I think one of the things that I made, mistakes that I made here was not realizing that I had me a, a tilt column. And so when I tried to angle this body on here, I thought that there's no way I'm going to be able to get it on. It kept hitting the bottom of our plate down here. And you can see I went there with the grinder and made some room that I probably didn't need to make, not realizing that the uh, steering box is actually adjustable on these. So you can learn a lesson from me. Even still, I do think I would have had to cut a hole there because I don't think it would have lined up appropriately. However, I probably would have did a neater job and I would have uh, been a little bit more precise. So uh, I'm going to fix it, of course, save the piece I took out. We'll weld that back in. But uh, just a little, little tip. I didn't realize that these uh, steering columns, well, it's really the steering box is adjustable. So just a uh, word to the wise there. So overall, uh, the procedure I took here was I first dropped the body on to the frame. And uh, I'll talk about some of the issues with my frame so you know what I'm dealing with. And I then proceeded to uh, put the grill on, put the fenders on, and um, line everything up using the good old-fashioned uh, line them up 6,000. Uh, one of these things here. Um, actually, a whole bunch of different lineup tools were used. Um, anyway, um, again, like I said, the grill was the only real factory piece that I'm using. Um, I do have other original pieces that are in pretty good shape, but since the kit came with everything, I figured I'd just use all new stuff. Um, like I said, got the fenders on second. Um, kind of a pain to line those up. Got them on there. They're, you know, kind of like flat, like a flat fender should be. Um, I've thrown a level on a lot of things, but if you really look at this body, there's nothing level on the body to begin with, so I don't really know what, how good the level's going to do me, but really just eyeing things up, uh, looking for symmetry, you know, does the middle of the hood line up with the middle of the grill, you know, things like that, right? Things that we're going to see when we walk by it. Probably the biggest issue I have, uh, ignore this, we'll get to all this in a second, but when we look at how the hood mounts and the angle we got, now I know there'll be a little bit of welting on the grill and that'll lift this up a little bit but the gap seems to be um a little too high for my liking so i need to play around with this a little bit more um see if i can get the fit right now everything is very loosely bolted in so um and not every bolt is in place so just very loose windshield frame went in very easily actually it looks pretty good seems to fit pretty well um everything seems to line up good with these little lockdowns I've ordered glass. I've heard of a lot of issues with the centerpiece here with the glass, so I'm going to see for myself if that's an issue. A lot of the forms I read online talk about issues that I think have been corrected. Um, seeing posts from 2018 and, and prior, this body was a couple months ago. This is I'm filming this in 2022, so end of 2022, December of 2022. So um, you know, I, I think perhaps some of the and when I bought this body, I had to wait quite a while, so I know it was. It was recently manufactured. This wasn't sitting on the shelf for a long period of time. Uh, tailgate went right in. Um, fits actually really nicely. No, no problems there. I read a lot of stories about folks having to relocate bracketry and whatnot. You'll notice here that I have these soft top pieces. Uh, these we welded in. So just did that the other day on both sides. Um, I grabbed these measurements off of a 3A that a friend has. Same thing with these pieces here. I was able to buy these online, either eBay or Kaiser Willie somewhere. Um, and I grabbed the measurements for all these um, and welded them on here. And, and your spare tire carrier does not come on these bodies. So that's one of my next projects is to get that snipped in here. Um, there's a lot of things that don't come on these bodies, right? So like your mounts for your seats. Um, I have the original ones. Um, you know, 
they'll go here, here-ish, somewhere. Again, I took some measurements off of 3A. You'll see that this is actually a new, a new old stock seat, believe it or not, a friend of mine had. Uh, I have a driver's seat as well, um, so I got lucky there. Uh, again, you know, probably my biggest fitment issue so far inside the Jeep, from what I can see, is actually, if you look here at the shifters, um, almost guarantee that the high range, low range shifter here is going to hit, and this might need to be trimmed. Also, I had to take the shifters off to slip the body in, and unfortunately, this only comes off by unbolting the whole thing. It's not like the later model transmissions where you can just uh, pop the shifter out. Um, this is hitting the, I can't actually put this back on. It's the body is hitting the cover here. So I'm going to have to trim it, but I'm not sure yet. So what I mean by that is I really need to look at this body to see, is it in the right spot? Um, it's likely that I'll have to trim it, but if we come back over here and look at the pedals, you'll see the clutch pedal seems to be lined up actually in a pretty decent spot. The brake pedal is, uh, not so. I'm probably for symmetry gonna cut these a little bit, may add a little bit to the tops if I can cut them good enough. I'll add the wet metal back to the top, weld it and do that. Um, the steering column is a little off center. You can move it a little bit um, and you can get your bracket up here as well. Um, and you know, I can't do this with, with one hand, but I did have, I did have it bolted in. Um, it was okay. It's not great, but it's a little little off, but again, you know, my, this is a 70, 80 year old frame that's been on used and abused, and you'll see that in a minute. So things things are off just a, a smidge. So otherwise, um, so far, and you know, you don't get holes for your gas pedal, so I don't know exactly where that goes. I need to figure that out. Um, and fuel tank wise, we're missing the um, we're missing the straps, the, the mounts for the straps. That would go on here and i think there's a mount that goes there and this thing i think has something to do with the seat but it doesn't look right based on some pictures that i've seen it doesn't seem to do anything when i put the seats in it um, in terms of the fuel tank this smaller hole is in the wrong spot that's going to need to be fixed i have a new fuel tank um quality good quality one and uh, that doesn't fit right in terms of the filler that seems to be okay that seems to line up so i think we'll be okay from that perspective um so yeah, other than, you know, you're going to have to drill all your holes, right? So the only holes you have, you have a couple of holes. You have four holes in the back of the body that are drilled for you. And I was actually using the outer. So there was a, there's a hole here, roughly, and there's a hole here. You can kind of see it, uh, roughly. And those generally lined up, except for the fact that both here and here were kind of bent on my Jeep, and I haven't straightened them out. And I'm not going to either. It's part of the character of it. So luckily there's actually holes here and here. You can kind of see the body mount protruding. I ended up using those two holes to guide me um, because the other two were, were definitely racking the body a little bit. So those two holes are, are more in line. The middle part of the bumper is straighter or cross member, whatever you want to call that rear piece is straighter. Um, so honestly, um, I, I decided I'm gonna use those two bolts as my, my starting point. And that got me in a pretty good spot, uh, lineup wise. Now, just take a look at this for a minute and tell me, well, you can't tell me because this is a video, but think about what you're seeing here. What I'm, what I'm seeing, which uh, what I don't like, and I need to look at some other Jeeps to figure this out, is you look at how this line here lines up with the cross member and basically where the body ends up on the cross member. If you go over here, and you look at how much further the body protrudes off the cross member and where this line lands. But the two bolts line up perfectly onto the frame. So I don't really understand why that is. I haven't seen enough two A's in person to, to really study this. Uh, I have a friend with a three A with an original body. I'm gonna go and look at his soon to see what his is doing before I cut any more holes on this body because I, I just don't know, you know, if you think about that, right, and you think about how far I'm off up here on the um, on the transmission, right, and even the steering column to some degree, although it would actually throw the steering column more off if the body shifted left, uh, that's the problem I have, right? If you look back here, you would say, well, this ought to go, the whole body should probably shift left a little bit. But if you come up here, the steering wheel, steering column is already 
Uh, the body's already far too left for it. If you look at the sh uh, transmission tunnel, you'll see that uh, it needs to, the body should shift further left. So both of those kind of contradict. All three of these things are somewhat in contradiction of themselves. The other little test that I did, and this is not scientific at all, um, but just mainly thinking about symmetry because I think that's the best you're gonna do on something that's 80 years old, reproduced in another country, um, with probably different quality materials and whatnot. Uh, I can't find my measuring tape, here it is. <clears throat> what, what I ended up doing here was, bear with me a moment. What I ended up doing was taking my measuring tape, putting it right about in the center, and if we look straight down, we're at about 10 and a half inches uh, from the center here to the wheel. And these are roughly the same PSI, not perfect. If we go to the other back, and again, roughly the same, we go here, we look down the center, we're just about 10 and a half. Again, these are, you know, the tires aren't filled with the same width and all that. So it's about, it's about the same. It would indicate that this could go over a little bit more to the left. But if you look at the center of this, where you have the center of your tailgate, and here, you look at it, you know, the tailgate almost says that this is already too far left. So by looking at all these lines, you're just, you're just gonna look at yourself and say, what, what in the world is going on here? So um, the key is, you know, I'm gonna look to get this installed in such a way that when you look at it, it looks good. I don't know if it's right, I don't know if it's going to be, you know, perfect, but it's gonna look as if it belongs <laughs> to be assembled that way. This bothers me a lot that, you know, you're basically right up against it on this end here and you're hanging over on this end about, geez, almost three inches. So that's a weird, that seems really weird to me. Uh, and that would indicate to me that there's something off, um, horribly off. But if we look at the gap back here between the uh, cross member and the body, it's about the same. So it doesn't appear that the body is sort of racked one way or the other. I don't know. It, it's, uh, it's got me beat. Let's come back up here to the front. So I'm going with stainless hardware. Picked up a bunch of new stainless bolts, etc., to uh, get the fenders mounted. Um, we got our little overhang on the grill. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. It's roughly the same. My problem up here, if we look down, our center bolt, which is way off. Um, this would indicate the grill needs to go to the left quite a bit and come out towards me further. However, these two mounts, I put a body mount under each of these, and I'm just using these uh, body mounts here from Kaiser Willys. Uh, we've got one body mount on each side. So this is, this is off. What I think I'm gonna need to do is get the grill mounted, uh, get that center bolt mounted, and then start adjusting things accordingly. Uh, however, the hood does line up pretty much with the center. Uh, it does indicate that it could go over a little bit more. So I do think that moving this grill over a little bit will help. So what I'm gonna end up doing is get the body on, get the grill on where I think they need to be, and then I'll, I'll play around with the fenders and probably adjust on the fenders in the hood um, because those will be a little easier for me to, uh, to work on. Plus I actually have a spare set of fenders and, and an extra hood that are factory. So um, if I end up having to really cut something up bad, I'll, I can sacrifice one of the sets to do that. I'm not an expert welder or anything of that nature or a sheet metal guy. So, um, all right, let's, uh, let's go up on the lift here and see what, uh, what we got going on underneath. <laughs> Lift is locked into place. Always make sure you uh, take your load off the lift and make sure your arms are good and solid before you uh, you walk under one of these things. Well, let's start back here. We got a lot of sunlight coming in the shop at this time of the day, so excuse the video. Um, you'll see here we have our, our body mount where one is supposed to go uh, and where we have it on the frame. You can see on the frame it's been elongated. It looks like this will fit in um, when I put a mount in place, so I'm not super worried about it. Probably gonna need two, um, two um, body mount bushings uh, to go there. You'll see we have our mount here in the center. We have our two, one here, and we have one here. Um, and I'll see if I can slip you in. The back, you can see where those go. Um, and those are in place pretty good. And again, same thing with this one here, we have 
you know, those holes seem to line right up. So in the back, we seem to be doing pretty good. Um, we aren't rubbing here, which is good. You know, make sure of that because you will hear, you will have issues if you're rubbing. So you want to look under here to make sure you're not rubbing anywhere. Um, and then we come to this next body mount. Um, and again, it's, it's moving pretty freely. So we may have to stack something or get a, uh, you know, another smaller piece of rubber. Same with this one, we'll probably have to put two. And I'm on the dry passenger side right now. And here we have the mount um, right here. And we're starting, to, this one's a little tight, so we're resting on this one um, in a decent way. What's not great is if you look up where the um, mount meets this hat channel is not in the greatest spot. So that's probably one complaint I would have. And then if we look over here at the, there's this little, I don't know what you'd call this little clip um, that you use to mount. This is the factory one. It's been eaten up over the years, but it does sort of line up, as you can see, with this, this sort of rail in the front of the body, and you can secure it in place. This side lines up good. The driver's side doesn't line up as good. And down here we have a spot where our fender can, uh, can bolt up to the body. I haven't bolted that in yet. <laughs> and then if we move to our fenders, we have all the bolts in. There, we have the bolts going into the grill. And I've removed the bolts here for now just because I've been adjusting on things. You also have some bolts down here. Those are uh, currently not, uh, where are they? Sorry, here we go, right in there. Those are out, but there's two bolts here on the fender um, and then two bolts here. And these are fine tread. These ones here are fine, fine tread. Um, and those will go into place. I had to do a lot of persuading with that, uh, the persuader I showed you earlier to get the fender in place, both fenders in place. We also have a bolt, I didn't realize this, but you have a bolt that goes here through the fender and through the step. Um, and I'm gonna use a 7 16 thread uh, bolt for that. You know, these'll this'll pull over nicely once, once the time is right. The passenger side is actually in decent shape. Um, the driver's side, however, let's move over here. Again, all these bolts to the grill are in place using stainless and a lock washer, et cetera, bolts to the uh, body. Uh, this one here is a little off from the uh, fender to the step on the side. But if we go underneath, here's where we start to see some issues. So, um, by the way, if you need to move and adjust your steering box, you have these three bolts here, and there's your steering box right in there. Um, and that, that swings up and down, okay, if you should need to do that. Uh, if we look at the pedals, my clutch pedal here is rubbing a little bit um, on this. So I may need to trim a little here if this in fact is where the body's final location is. Um, in terms of the, the mount here that you saw on the other side, don't know what I did with it, but it doesn't quite reach. Uh, so from this hole, this bottom hole here to this hole here, it's about a quarter inch too um, tall. So, and again, the gap here is a little bit more than the gap on the other side. What does that mean? I don't know. Again, if you look at this body mount, you remember the other one was fairly taunt. This one here. Moves freely. And you see there's more space on these body mounts in general on this side, going back as we go back to the rear of the Jeep. So. Um, that would indicate that something's not right. Now, again, the frame could very well be twisted. Um, it's very possible that, you know, over the years here, there's been plenty of things going on that I wasn't even born for. So, um, and actually one thing I'll call out to you in the front is, you'll see I have a little kink up in the frame here in the front. Now I did some extensive measuring and Actually, you can see it underneath too. It's, it's a little crinkled, must have been hit. And I had to do a lot of work on these gussets just to get the bumper to mount properly. Uh, everything that I can tell, the damage is actually just from the front and it may affect this spring a little bit, but in terms of the rest of the frame, the rest of the frame I measured, you know, mount to mount, etc. cetera, um, it actually seemed to be in good shape. So I don't think the mount, I don't think the rest of the frame was severely impacted by that, just this front, just this front area. And even with the spring, the Jeep sits nice and level when it's on the ground. So I, I'm not super concerned about that. So anyway, that's the situation I'm in right now. Really, I have to decide what do I want to cut and what do I want to move? 
am I in a good enough spot? Do I need to move this around a little bit? So I'm going to be, you know, probably not taking it off, but certainly the fenders and, and the hook and the grill, I'm going to take off and uh, reposition. But the body, you know, right now I have everything loosened so that I can kind of move it all and slide it all around while I'm on here. It's not easy to do that by yourself. Um, definitely recommend having someone here with you to, to help you out. Most likely I'm going to end up trimming around the transmission tunnel. I'm going to have to trim around the pedals. Um, that's a given. Going to have to drill all my holes underneath for all my uh, body mounts. And like I said, if you look at where these where these land, um, they don't land in the greatest. This one's not going to be too bad. That's in the middle of the hat channel here. Um, that one might not be too bad. This one here, you know, it's really going to miss the hat channel. I don't know how to do a way to show you this, but it's gonna it's gonna miss it um, when I when I drill through it. So not great, not great. But um, again, if if the body comes over a tad um, towards towards me, I'm on the driver's side. If it comes over towards me some more, that'll line up nicely. This will line up nicely. It'll throw the steering column off. It'll help with the um, it'll help with the transmission tunnel. So I don't know. I'm going to still see if I can do that, if I can get the body to move just a little bit more towards the driver's side. And uh, if, even if it's a, an, an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch, I think it'll help out a lot. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, it'll require me to do more, I think, finagling with the fenders, um, but I think that's okay. I think the, the fenders, we can slot those holes a little bit more. There's a lot more I think we can do with the fenders. Um, there's a lot less dependency on what we do there. So I, I think that's the route I'm gonna go. Any advice, any any ideas anybody has? Um, I'm not gonna be doing this for a few weeks. Probably I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. This was a big accomplishment just to get to this, to this part where it runs and drives and the body tub is actually on it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a break before I start drilling all kinds of holes and making a mess. And uh, you know, just gonna, just gonna think on things for a while, you know? Come here, look at things, whatever dream about it. I don't know. Just going to go easy with the grinding wheel and the cutoff disc because, uh, you know, you know how that goes. So any ideas or suggestions folks have, please drop them below. If you know of any forms or anything that talk about, you know, measurements, like for example, where, where do you put those latches, you know, the, on the hood, where do those go? Where's the right spot for those things, right? Um, anywhere you want. Is there a, is there a factory location? Where do you put the, the gas pedal? Where does that mount? Where do you mount the seat brackets, right? I mean, I can go off of a 3A that I know of. This is a 2A. Um, I'm imagining the 3A is pretty similar. I have a buddy with a 3A that's factory. So I'll be able to get a lot of those measurements, but it's, uh, it just seems like there should be something out there that, that has this information on it. So if you know it, drop me a link to it below or, or let me know what you think. Um, and based on what I showed you, hopefully this helps you out when you're considering to, to buy a body, what might, uh, what might be in your, uh, your future. Like I said, this one was purchased in the summer of 2022, so I know it was made somewhere around the September timeline is when it was manufactured, 2022. Um, some of the issues that I've heard about over the in the forums over the years don't seem to be here. They seem to have worked some of these things out, but some of them are still here. The good news is the ones that are here definitely seem to be within my skill level to resolve. Um, nothing here that I'm really afraid of, and I think I'll be able to make the Jeep look good and for my purposes, again, not going to a museum, just having fun, you know, skipping into town and whatever I might do with it. So um, anyway, hope you enjoyed watching this. Hope it was helpful. Like I said, any thoughts or comments, ideas you have, uh, whatever I'm doing wrong, let me know in the comments below. Thank you.